In this video, we're going to show you how to set up a bank account. So first you want to hover your mouse on the banks tab and click on bank center. You'll end up on this page and you want to click on add new bank account. Once you're there, you want to enter in the bank details. So first is the account name. I'll say that this is an operating account. Next is selecting the account type. We have checking, savings, and credit card. I'll select checking. Next is entering the bank name. I'll say that this is Bank of America. Next is the account holder's name. I'll say that this is the property management company holder's name. Right here, we have the tracking date. It's always going to default to the current month, but you can always change that. And then right here, you want to enter in an opening balance. I'll put in $100. Right below that, you want to put in the billing address tied to this bank account. I'll say that this is 789 Main Street. And of course, you can put in the city, state, and zip code. Right below that, you can put in an email address. And right next to that, you can put in phone numbers. Right below that, we have the routing and account number. I'll go ahead and enter in some random numbers just for this video. Okay, and right below that, you can check mark this here if you want to enable this account for online payments. Right below that, we have print checks. So we support pre-printed checks and blank check stock, and three checks per page and one check per page. You can adjust the printer's check position right here, and you can also select the specific font. Right here, you want to enter in the current check number, and you can also print the payee address. Right below that, you can make this bank account the default for the following transaction types for owners and vendors. We have three steps. The first step right here is selecting the types of transactions. So this first option here is saying that this bank account is for all types of transactions. So that includes rental income, security deposit, owner draws, owner contributions, and vendor payments. Let's say I have a separate bank account just for security deposits. So I want to select the second option where I can define the type of transactions. So right here, I'm going to check mark everything except for security deposit. And that leads us to step two. So step two is mapping the specific owners and vendors to this bank account. So right now I have an owner named Bob. I want him tied to this bank. So I'll check mark him here. And right below that, I have two vendors. I want both of them to be mapped to this bank account. So I'll check mark both of them. In step three, here you can uh, check mark this if you want the future owners and vendors to automatically be tied to this bank account. I do, so I want to check mark that. If you don't, you want to leave it unchecked. Then down here, you can add some notes. So that's everything. So I'll click save. So now we're on the bank center. And on the left, we can see the operating account, the bank balance on the right, $100. And at the top right corner, we have this bank details widget. We can see the account name, bank name, account holder name, and the contact information tied to it. 